great. Okay, so uh, you asked me to share an insight into the status of Jakarta fying the specification. And well, I, I just want to start with the problems we have with that. We are too few people working on that. As you can see, we're two rather busy people and that's mostly it. And th there is a real lot of work to do. Um, we have this nice checklist uh, initiated by Iwa. Thanks for that. With a lot of issues to do and roughly 50% is done already. But the other 50% is the real work to do. So we hope that some of the people listening now uh, like to help us with all that. It's really a lot of work. And you, you wouldn't believe it if you will look at the current status, which is what I uploaded to you earlier. Uh, let me search this on my disk. Just a second. I have the current status, how it looks like. This is it. It looks really nice. It looks like if it's done. It's, it has all the nice graphics and a new font and the new titles and the new copyrights and all the the table of contents. This this is all great, but this is not the hard work. The Mr. hard. Marcus, are you are you sharing uh, what you're seeing? Like we see the um, specs to do uh, eight oh four. Re really? Yeah. That's oh. what we see on your, our screen. Oh, I have to change what I share. I think. Okay, just a second. No problem. Starting again. Ah, I see. I have to select a different window. Okay. Now you see the current status. So I, I start from the top again. Yeah. So here we have we have all the nice UI things, the the, the logos and the, the fonts and all that. This is all done. That's great. But this was already done mostly before when we did the boilerplate. So we just filled in the text um, from Oracle into that boilerplate specification and uh, compiled it and it was done. So th this is not the hard thing to do. The hard thing is you have to go through so all that all text. That. So you you have to read it. I think your, your mic may be, uh, okay, now no, it's better. Actually, it was not mine. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe something on yeah, our... Somebody else. So yeah, you have we... to go through all the text and this is 100 pages to read and to think about because all links have to be checked. There might be links broken. There might be links still pointing to the JCP. Um, you also have to check the links to the other specifications we need. So we are dependent from two or three other specifications and we have to refer to them and their specs are not converted already. So we have to stay with the old links. So this is a step by step to be done uh, when, when they have done one step and, and have something on the web, then we can change that link. And then we have to wait for the next specification and we have to change that link and we, we have to keep track of, of that. So this, this is, uh, well, you, you have to go through the text over and over and over again, unless all the specifications are online. So um, here we have uh, the, the intros. So if anybody is interested in the current state of this specification, uh, we actually are working on uh, doing a nightly build of that so people can view it and unless this is working you can simply pull from github so i show you how this works so on uh, github you can go to jaxrs api and there is the master branch and on the master branch there is the empty specification in the JaxRS spec folder. So there's 
an, an old status which is 23 days old and there's pull requests and sorry i closed it this was not intentional there is one pull request in particular that is interesting which is called 804 spec overhaul first tranche if you pull this code which is eight commits currently you simply can use maven mvn package to compile the pdf file so in fact you, you can just use it like source code so if you want to help with reworking on the specification just pull this code and use mvn package and you can start um, to work on it by picking one of the open issues this is the issue tracker just go into issue tracker everything that has no name beside it is free to work on so here's a list of stuff you can work on and if you start working on that just go to edit put your name into it and press update command and then we know you're working on that if you're done just open another pull request and we will review that and reviews is the next problem because we have a nice rule at checksrs nobody must directly push to master we always need at least two active reviews on every change and we just have one at the moment um, it would be nice if some of the people listening would also review that so that the work actually can be merged into the master branch so this is the current status and how you can help us with finishing it and i hope that ayan meanwhile is uh, ready to show his presentation okay yeah so <clears throat> i'm a bit more ready i hope so the other one was in a browser and wanted a lot of uh, permissions so let's try again to share uh, the screen to see if thanks marcus okay let's share this So oh, while Ariane's getting ready, um, this is Kevin. I just wanted to thank Marcus for the, um, the presentation on updating that spec. And I really appreciated your view on how much work it was to actually get this done. Because, you know, if we look at some of the comments in the community, you know, people are asking, well, when is this going to be done? When is this going to be done? And it's like, yeah, um, we're, we're always looking for help. I mean, not only for the JAX RS spec, but for several of them as, as we get them from Oracle and we, we need to do this work. It's not just a magic overnight thing and they're out there. There's, there's quite a bit of work that has to be done to make them usable by Jakarta. So um, thanks for that uh, overview and having a, a separate uh, viewpoint on how much work it is to get this ready. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I, I need to, to tell that the first 50% was done in one day and the second 50% I, I think will need weeks. And I think this is not special to CheckRS. This is with all the specifications that the hard work is the things to come. The easy job is already done mostly. Yep. Okay, so do you guys see my screen now? Yes, we can. Okay, perfect. So, um, yeah, so the security spec, uh, this one was a bit easier to start with uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is that, that I mainly wrote the initial text uh, myself, so I'm quite familiar with the text. Uh, the second one is a young spec, so it's not that big yet. And the third one, it was already in um, ASCII doc format, so there's not a lot of weird uh, formatting from any conversion or what have you. Um, so we did needed to do some things. So I summarized them a little bit hastily on my 
a laptop here since my main computer is not working at the moment. Um, so uh, Guillermo, he changed a couple of terms at first. Um, then the second thing we did was uh, deleting some of the original files that were there, basically the header and the license files, so they, uh, these weren't needed. And the unused uh, placeholder scope that was used for the uh, skeleton document. So I can take a quick look at them here. So these were basically these three files. They could just be deleted and replaced with the uh, Jakarta version. That was relatively easy. Uh, the second thing that we did was um, renaming all files to have a consistent um, extension. So the original files, as they were uh, transferred, they all had the ASCII doc extension. Um, but Jakarta was using the ADOC extension. Um, actually, ADOC seems to be the uh, preferred one to use. So I looked it up at the recommended practices. And it actually says here, let's see if I can move this out of the way. Um, it says here that the um, ADOC is uh, recommended. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, we did, we changed them to ADOC. Um, so the next thing that we did was actually looking at the preface. As we mentioned, some of the um, original people working on it uh, clarified that these things were in the past, so they were under the uh, JCP. So the specification leads was changed to a specification lead on the JCP, expert group on the GCP, uh, JCP, what have you. Um, and then added the clips uh, people. So this was uh, done next. Let me go back to this uh, thing here. Let's see if I have it. Then um, basically what was next is just reading through the document, uh, seeing where things were still missing, which things will be missed. But that's essentially going to the source, which you have here. Um, then building it, you can just use Maven Clean install, um, and it will build into a PDF. You can see the PDF in your target folder in Maven. So if you click on it, I hope it shows up on the screen. Uh, you get the rendered version, and it's basically a matter of reading through it. Uh, see if you miss anything, um, whether there's any spelling mistakes, um, when you change things, whether spaces are missing. So that's basically what we've been doing. Um, and we now reach chapter two, essentially. So there were small things like the uh, replacement from Jakarta from Java EE to Jakarta has uh, missed a space somewhere. So there were like all uh, spaces missing. So those were things that were added. Um, a JSF thing was missed, so that was changed into uh, Jakarta server faces. We did this somewhere. So you can find it quickly. Um, so that's the one here, yeah. So this still set uh, JSF. And expression language was changed into Jakarta expression language, etc. cetera. Um, and that's basically what we continue to do. Uh, so as I mentioned, we now reached chapter two. There's a couple of more chapters, but not, not just big spec. So we'll probably uh, be able to go through this in just a few days, basically. Um, but as Mark has said, it's, it's quite often a matter of start time so people have uh, day jobs they, they do this in their free time um, so you don't always have that much time available for it but yeah that's essentially the current status of things um, th this should be ready in a couple of days if I and the others uh, work on it a, co a couple of more hours then it should be done essentially uh, hi on uh, one question yeah and from that document, I still saw it, re it referenced CDI. Is that allowed there? If you are, re um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So CDI is an exception. So CDI was not an Oracle term. It's not on the list of forbidden terms. Uh, we clarify it in several occasions by um, prepending it with Jakarta. So it's Jakarta CDI, but it's not uh, forbidden 
use uh, CDI. It is kind of forbidden to use uh, JSFM, EL, EGB, uh, what have you. All right, thanks. Yeah, so the, the, reason, the reason for that is because CDI and bean validation were provided by Red Hat, and then the Java batch was provided by IBM. And so those, we're, we're, not, we're not being <laughs> picky about the names. And so that's why those can continue to be used, but the other ones have to change. Indeed. Uh, so one more thing, thing I wanted to show was that uh, we updated the references as well to the other specs. So for instance, here we say um, authentication. So that's Jakarta authentication. And at the first usage of the term, and let's see if I can find this. Uh, it should be verify it fully. Uh, I'm afraid it doesn't want to search for it, so I have to manually take a look. Um, let's see, I hope I can find it quickly. Uh, yes, here, so we, um, at the first usage of the, um, the reference to the spec, it's uh, mentioned in full. So here it's uh, Jakarta Servlet Specification version 4 and between square brackets Servlet 4.0. And the same goes for uh, Jakarta Authentication. And then in the follow-up uh, references, it's just the um, short term. And these link to the specification pages. So in th this case, Servlet 4, uh, links to the uh, Jakarta Servlet for the O page on the Jakarta EE website. And in the same fashion, authentication, Jakarta authentication, links to Jakarta authentication page at Jakarta EE. Um, these links, as Marcus mentioned, uh, they have to be checked, of course. Uh, so that's some amount of work. It's not crazy much work, but you do have to check them. And similarly, there's a few internal uh, links which you need to check as well since they could have changed when you did the uh, replacement for terms. But yeah, like I said, it's it's going quite well. It's relatively fast. It's basically just reading through the, the document and whenever you see something, you change it and then you do a pull request and then the other guys review it. And that's basically it. Uh, um, Unlike JAXRS, we don't have the um, hard requirement for reviews. So it's still okay to merge it in if people haven't reviewed it. Um, and basically we operate under the assumption that if something went in that isn't quite uh, correct, it's still source control so people can refer it. Um, but yeah, that, that's up to the project. It's not a Jakarta organization standard to have like one review, two reviews, or no reviews, or what have you. Okay, so I think that's basically it from my side.